Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a basic ring. So I've already opened up Tinkercad. I have my empty work plane. First thing I want to do is change the name of my project here. So I'm going to just call it basic ring instead of the crazy name that they put in there. First thing you need to know about the ring is that it is going to consist of two cylinders. One of them is a solid cylinder. The other is a hole. So I'm going to drag both of them out there. And what I want to do first of all is one of the crazy things. I'm going to zoom in so we can see these better. One of the weird things about Tinkercad is that the cylinders that it gives you is you'll notice they aren't very round. They have these kind of jagged edges. So I'm going to smooth that out. When you click on your cylinder, you'll notice that it has these sides and it comes with 20 sides by default. I'm going to drag that up and give it as many sides as possible. And you'll notice now if I zoom in real close, it makes it look more round than it was before. So I'm going to do that for my hole as well. I'm going to drag that all the way up. That's a little bit of a pro tip for you. You don't have to do that. It just makes it a lot smoother, especially as we print it out. So it's not quite as jagged. So I'm going to do that. Now I have my solid and my hole. They're going to be nice and smooth. Now, the next thing you need to do is you're going to use the ring sizer that I have up on my desk, and that will determine the size of the hole. So I'm going to drag my hole over. And so, for instance, my ring finger, I believe, is 19.44 millimeters. So I'm going to click on the corner. And I'm going to change this measurement to 19.44. Do the same here, 19.44. If I don't change both of them, instead of it being round, it will be oblong. And I don't know about you, but my finger's round. It's not oblong. So I need to change both of those. And then you have to decide how thick you want the solid piece of your ring to be. A nice number is three millimeters. That's just a good thickness. If you want it to be a little bit thicker, you can. I wouldn't go more than five millimeters. Uh, so somewhere between three and five. So I have 19.44. You add three to that would give you 22. So I'm going to make this. 22.44. So 22.44 and 22.44. So I have both of those set up. Now what I need to do is take both of those shapes. So you can either click and drag to select both the shapes or you can hold down the shift key and click on both of the shapes so that we can select both of them, which we should have learned in the basic skills. So shift and then click on both shapes, and then we're going to align them. And then we're gonna click on the middle button to align them in the middle that direction. And then we're going to click here to align them in the middle that direction. Now we should have them both aligned. So it'll be perfectly in the middle. And then we're going to click here to group. And they should be perfectly aligned and grouped up. So in the middle, the last thing you need to choose, decide is how tall you want your ring to be. A good number here for you know, a men's ring the ring that I wear, my wedding ring, is eight millimeters. Um, female rings are typically around five millimeters. It's up to you. I wouldn't go any more than 10 millimeters. Then otherwise it starts to look, you know, kind of kind of weird. But uh, so I'm going to make mine eight. 
but somewhere between between four and ten is a good number. So I'm going to make mine eight, and that gives you a nice, decent size, uh, basic ring. So that's what you want to do. You're going to have a solid, and you're going to have a hole. Align them in the center of each other, group them together, and that will give you the basic ring that then you can add stuff to. One other quick tip I'm going to show you in this video if you want to add text to it is you can come over here and go to Shape Generators. And then right here you have text that you can use to wrap around it. Hopefully that was helpful. Oh, let me zoom back out so you can see how the text works. You can shrink that down. You can make that to be the same size. So I can make that eight and shrink it down and align that and add that onto your ring or you can add other things, add that on there. Hopefully this was helpful. Feel free to rewind it, follow along and Make sure you add more to your ring, though. If you just do the basic ring, you're only going to get one out of two.